tried and tested recipe, the judges and presenters of Bake Off, the professionals, from left, Benoit Blin, Tom Allen, Liam Charles and Cherish Binden kept too closely to the formula, photo, Channel 4, Jeff Robson 7 hours Sunday May. 6, 2018 Like if this mantled empire transformed into a group of competing, and less powerful, states, the Great British Bake Off continues to deliver spin-offs and copycats on what sometimes seems like a daily basis. Piping hot on the heels of Britain's best home cook, the BBC's latest Mary Berry fronted attempt to get millions of Britons to stop cooking and watch television instead, comes Channel 4's newest variation on its recently acquired franchise. In a similar format to its BBC incarnation, six pairs of professional pastry chefs try to impress judges Benoit Blin and Cherish Finden. But a missing ingredient was the lack of presenter chemistry. Instead of the surprisingly successful double act of Sandy Tokes the Nola Fielding, we had comedian Tom Allen and 2017 series quarter finalist Liam Charles, who struggled to match their mismatched pair, Sparkle. I was also worried that, the gifted amateur element so key to the Bake Off success story would be lost with contestants who do this, for a living. Instead there was a certain shot and Freud is the prospect of elimination for one team turned Patty CAs with culinary awards and bespoke outlets by the bakers dozen into a nervous pupil submitting overdue homework to a particularly scary teacher. Withering put downs and the judges are TV gold. Lynn is an iron hand in a velvet glove, rhapsodizing in a comedy French accent before delivering an acerbic critique. Finden is a reinforced iron hand in a super strength titanium glove, casting gimlet eyes and weathering put downs on the team's efforts as they delivered a tart of fruits and a conversation. It's just a fancy name for a Bakewell tart for the first challenge. Next was the showpiece, wear and exhortation to reinvent the Black Forest ghetto, produced the sort of concoctions you might get if you locked the brothers Grimm and Salvador Dali in a cake shop for a week, a chocolate axe, a cuckoo clock with a singing cuckoo and a slide delivering edible marbles, no, I don't know what that's got to do with the Black Forest either. The atmosphere got more tense and sweary, and as the contestants' personalities emerged I began to fear for the prospects of Barrett and, highly strung, Daryl and slightly too laid-back hipsters Chris and BJ in particular. It's a caramelized sugar rush with extra chantilly cream for aficionados. But stays too close to an over-familiar formula. And as the Bake Off clones proliferate I can't help feeling that, as anyone who's overdone it on cake knows, you can have too much of a good thing. I news https colon slash slash inews.co.uk